In the book of First Kings chapter 21. Hebu kitabu cha Wafalme wa Kwanza. Chapter 21. Sura ya 21. I hope my English is clear for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, first Kings chapter 21 from verse um, 1. Wa farme wa kwanza sura 21 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard which was in Jezreel had by the palace of Ahab king of Samaria Ikawa baada ya hayo na bosi mweleze Mzilieli alikuwa na shamba na mzabibu katika Ezeeli karibu na nyumba ya kifarume ya Ahab mfarume wa Samaria And Ahab spake unto Anaboth saying give me thy vineyard that I may have it for a garden of herbs because it is near to my house and I'll give thee for it a better vineyard than it or if it seems good to thee I'll give thee the worth of it in money Ahabu akasema na Naboth akamwambia nipe shamba lako la mizabibu nilifanye shamba la mboga maana ni karibu na nyumba yangu nami nitakupa badala yake shamba la mizabibu ilo zuri zaidi au ukipenda nitakupa fedha sawa sawa na thamani yake And Naboth said to Ahab the Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. Nabothi akamwambia Ahabu, Bwana nipishe mbali, nikupe we ulisi wa baba zangu. And Ahab came to his house heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth, the Jezreelite, I mean, had spoken to him, for he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread. Basi Ahabu akaenda nyumbani kwake ana moyo mzito tena amekasirika kwa sababu ya neno lile aliloombwa na Nabosi Miethieli akisema sitakupa ulisi wa baba zangu akajiraza kitandani pake akageuza uso wake akakataa kula. I believe everybody knows the story how it ended. Najua kila mmoja wetu anajua hiyo hadithi jinsi ilivyoishia. So we are not going to read the whole story. Kwamba hatutasoma story zima. We come here in the New Testament the book of 1 Corinthians. Hebu tuje hapa katika agano jipya katika kitabu cha Wakorintho. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1. Wakorintho wa kwanza sura ya 4. Mstari wa kwanza. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Mtu natuhesabu hivi kuwa tu watumishi wa Kristo na mawakili wa siri za Mungu. Moreover it is required in a steward in stewards that a man be found faithful. Hapo tena inahitajiwa katika mawakili ndio mtu aonekane kuwa mwaminifu. May God bless his word and bless you, you may be seated. Mungu abariki neno lake na abariki naomba mketi. Yeah, so I believe every minister has preached about Naboth. Naamini kwamba kuna huduma wamehubiri kuhusu Naboth. And Naboth is a type of a believer living in the days of Elijah. Naboth alikuwa ni aina ya mwaminio katika kipindi cha Elia. When the message of God had gone forth, wakati ujumbe wa Mungu uliposonga mbele, but there was also a religious system that was so perverted from the truth. Lakini kulikuwa na mfumo wa kidini ambao ulikuwa umeharibiwa sana. And it was headed by Jezebel. Na ulikuwa unaongozwa na Jezebel. And you know that even in today, na naona hata leo, according to Revelation, kutokana na ufunuo, we have those three spirits. Tunazo roho tatu. We have Jezebelism. Tuna roho ya Jezebel, Nicolaitanism. Tuna roho ya Nicolai and we have balamism i believe your pastors have taught about that but now i want you to look at this that the spirit of jezebel 
which is the bewitching spirit of every age was very strong in this age of Elijah. And remember he had killed so many prophets. And here she was remaining with Elijah. And Elijah was so identified as her enemy. And But she felt like she's too powerful because she tapped into the political powers of King Ahab. And Ahab became a puppet king but controlled by this woman. Just like you know very well that all the kingdoms of the world will soon be controlled by a woman. By a religious system. By a religious system. Okay. But during this time also we have people to know what who don't only value the word. They don't only value the word. But they are the word. Amen. Are you listening? Are you listening? Amen. And those are always the target of the enemy. So what we are looking at here is Satan interested in your heritage. Ni shetani akivutiwa na urithi wako. Now the question is Sasa swali ni how much land did the Ahab have? Je, kiasi gani cha ardhi Ahab alikuwa nacho? Why was he interested in this particular vineyard? Kwa nini alivutiwa sana na hili shamba? Just like you can ask yourself a question. Vile vile tu unaweza kujiuliza mwenyewe swali. How many billions of people do the devil control? Je, ni mabilioni mangapi ambao shetani anawaongoza ya watu? But why is he still following you? Lakini kwa nini bado anakufuatilia wewe? Because whatever the devil has doesn't carry value to him. Kwa sababu chochote ambacho shetani alicho nacho hakina thamani kwake yeye. He is only interested in that which is not his. Yeye anavutiwa sana na kile ambacho si chake. And there is only one group of people na kuna kundi moja tu la watu who are not his. Ambao si wa kwake. The predestinated ones. Ni wale walio kusudiwa. The ones who are in the mind of God. Wale walio kwa katika nia ya Mungu. And the ones who are here today. Na ni wale na wale walio kwa mahali hapa leo to manifest God's perfect will. Kudhihirisha kusudi kamilifu la Mungu. The ones whom God says wale ambao Mungu alisema you are my heritage ninyi ni urithi wangu and i am your heritage na mimi ni urithi wenu i am yours mimi ni wa kwenu and you are mine na ninyi ni wa kwangu the bride of jesus christ bibi harusi wa yesu kristo those people wao watu whether they are three in a place either kama kama wako watatu mahali even if they are one au kama ni mmoja the devil doesn't sleep because of that people shetani halali kwa sababu ya watu hao glory be to god mtukufu kwa mungu and i'm one i thank god that i'm one of them nami namshukuru mungu kwamba mimi ni mmoja wao and i thank god i believe you are one of them nami namshukuru mungu naamini wewe ni mmoja wao okay okay the reason you were put in time sababu wewe uliweka katika wakati is because you were supposed to be tested whether you will remain faithful to your god ni kwa sababu ulipaswa kujaribiwa kama utadumu mwaminifu kwa mungu wako and that's why that's why there is the devil ndio maana yuko ibilisi that's why there is temptation ndio maana yako majaribu that's why there is afflictions ndio maana kuna shida majaribu hardships hali ngumu and the bible says na biblia inasema there has never taken you any temptation hajakupeleka katika jaribu lolote that is not common to men ambalo si la kawaida kwa watu 
And God knows Na Mungu anajua you will never be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Kwamba hutajaribiwa zaidi ya vile uwezavyo kumudu. So as long as the temptation is still there kwa, kwa kadri tu jaribu bado liko pale that is the proof that God knows you are able to bear it. Huo ni uhakika kwamba Mungu anajua unaweza kubeba and you are supposed to stay faithful na unapaswa kudumu mwaminifu and the devil na shetani will keep bringing things to you ataendelea kuleta mambo kwako that will look like they are better than what you have ambayo yanaonekana kama ni bora kuliko yale ulionayo and he will tell you this is much better than what you have na atakwambia hiki ni bora kuliko kile ulichonacho but actually lakini kwa kweli the, the opposite is what is true kila kinyume chake ndio cha kweli. You are better than the whole world put together. Wewe ni bora kuliko dunia yote ikiwekwa pamoja. And brother Branham says. Na ndugu Branham alisema, the soul your soul nafsi yako is na, more than 10,000 worlds put together. Ni ina thamani kuliko dunia elfu kumi zikiwekwa pamoja. Even if you put 10,000 worlds together. Hata kama ukiweka dunia elfu kumi pamoja, they cannot buy your soul. Haziwezi kununua nafsi yako. Now imagine. Sasa what wazia, what can the devil there forgive you? Jesh ibilisi anaweza kukupa nini? that you can exchange your soul for ambapo ambacho unaweza ukabadilisha nafsi yako if 10000 worlds kama dunia 1000 cannot buy you haziwezi kukununua all the gold in the world the habu zote za ulimwengu all the money pesa zote all the houses all the riches nyumba zote 10000 times mara 1000 cannot buy you haziwezi kukununua wewe That's why even when God redeemed you, ndio sababu hata Mungu alipokukomboa, he bought you with his own blood. Alikununua wewe kwa damu yake mwenyewe. His own life. Maisha yake mwenyewe. Life. Uzima. So he had to devalue his own blood. Ili paswa ashushe thamani ya damu yake mwenyewe. He knew to use it as a medium to purchase you. Aitumie kama kitu cha kukununulia wewe and the devil knows it na shetani anajua hilo he knows how priceless you are anajua namna gani huna thamani you are too expensive for anything to buy wewe ni wa gharama sana kuliko kitu chochote cha kununulika that's why he is willing to offer anything ndio maana yuko tayari kukupa chochote And that's why he comes to Naboth. Ndio maana anakuja kwa Naboth. And he says, Na anasema, I want you to give me. Nataka wewe unipe your vineyard. Hilo shamba lako. Which is close to my house. Ambao lipo karibu na nyumba yangu. What is a house? A kingdom. Je, nyu, nyumba ni nini? Ufalme. You are so close to my kingdom. Wewe uko karibu sana na ufalme wangu. You are a threat to my kingdom. Wewe ni, ni, ni tatizo. You are a problem to me. Wewe ni shida kwenye ufalme wangu. You came all the way from heaven to here. Umetoka mbinguni mpaka hapa. And you are a problem to me. Na wewe ni shida kwangu. You are so near to me. Wewe uko karibu sana na mimi. I am not comfortable. Mimi sija sijatulia. I'm not comfortable because you are here. Sina amani kwa sababu uko hapa. And I I, I I I I don't want you here. Na mimi sikutaki hapa. That's why he's interested in your land. Ndio maana anavutiwa na shamba lako. And he says I can give you anything. Ana na anasema naweza nikakupa chochote kile. Can give you money? Naweza kukupatia pesa? If you want. Kama unikitaka. Can give you another vineyard? Naweza nikakupatia shamba lingine? And you if you notice he used the word. Na kama unatambua alitumia neno which is better than yours. Amba akisema <laughs> hili ni bora kuliko la kwako. Mm. I will give you a better nitakupa shamba bora la mizabibu kuliko la kwako if, if, if you have a better one kama unalo bora 
Why don't you remain with a better one? Kwa nini usibaki na lilo bora? In your own statement, katika tamshi lako mwenyewe, you are actually clearly telling me that what is mine is much better than you. Unaniambia waziwazi kwamba kile ambacho ni cha kwangu ni bora kuliko chako. Hmm. Oh, I wish I was a good preacher. Oh, natamani ningekuwa mhubiri mzuri. I would be, I, would, I I think I invite the brother to start preaching. Ah. Nadhani ningemwalika ndugu aanze kuhubiri hapa. Glory be to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. You are a threat to the devil's kingdom. Wewe ni hatari kwenye ufalme wa shetani. And as long as you are here. Na ili mradi tu uko hapa. The devil can't rest. Shetani hawezi pumzika. Because of what you have. Ni kwa sababu ya kile ulichonacho. Because of the mystery. Kwa sababu siri that the father has put in him. Ambao baba ameweka ndani yako. Because of the life. Kwa sababu ya uzima. Because of the revelation. Kwa sababu ya ufunuo. Because you are an ambassador. Kwa sababu wewe ni balozi of the other kingdom. Ya ufalme wa juu. And because you are an ambassador of that kingdom. Na kwa sababu wewe ni balozi wa ule ufalme. And that kingdom is what defeated the devil na ule ufalme ndio uliomshinda shetani and that kingdom na ule ufalme has predetermined the days of the devil i umeandaa siku zote za shetani and the devil knows that he has but a short time shetani anajua anao muda lakini mfupi and then after his destruction you are the one who is going to live forever na baada ya kuharibiwa kwake wewe ndio unakwenda kuishi milele and you are the reason na wewe ndiyo sababu you are the reason wewe ndiyo sababu that the devil is going to be judged kwamba shetani atakwenda kuhukumiwa why kwa nini the devil has never slept hungry kwa sababu shetani hajawahi kukaa njaa all the millions or hundreds of years he was in heaven mamilioni mamilioni ya miaka alikuwa hana njaa he was never hungry hakuwahi kuwa na njaa and he fell na ali don alianguka he was never sick hakuwahi kuugua and he fell na alianguka he never had enemies alikuwa hana maadui and he fell lakini alianguka but for you lakini wewe you were born a sinner wewe ulizaliwa mwenye dhambi but now you are a child of god lakini sasa ni mtoto wa mungu you have been sick wewe umewahi kuugua have not fallen lakini huko anguka you have got a lot of problems ulipata shida nyingi but you are still serving god lakini bado unamtumikia mungu you have a lot of trouble umepitia shida nyingi but always rejoicing lakini bado una furaha and because of you na kwa sababu yako the devil is going to be judged shetani atakwenda kuhukumiwa so he knows kwa hiyo anajua as long as you are there kwamba ili mradi tu uko pale as long as you can still say amen ili mradi tu bado unaweza kusema amen to the word of god kwa neno la mungu haleluya haleluya as long as there are still preachers here ili mradi tu bado wahubiri hapa who will stand with the word ambao wanasimama na neno and the devil fell from the word na shetani ali anguka kutoka kwenye neno he will always say mara zote atasema you are a big problem to me wewe ni shida kubwa kwangu because kwa sababu god is a perfect judge kwa sababu mungu ni muhakimu mkamilifu And if he's a perfect judge, na kama ni hakimu mkamilifu, he must have witnesses. Lazima awe na mashahidi. In order to pass a righteous judgment, anajua kupitisha hukumu ya haki. And what did God say? Mungu alisema nini? You are my witnesses. Ninyi ni mashahidi wangu. You are my witnesses. Ninyi ni mashahidi wangu. So the devil kwa shetani wouldn't have a case asingekuwa na case if you were not there <laughs> kama usingekuepo pale but you are now the problem lakini wewe ni shida sasa 
And the problem na sida is because of what God put in you. Ni kwa sababu ya kile Mungu aliweka ndani yako. That's why I thank God. Ndio sababu namshukuru Mungu. That which God put in us. Kwamba kila Mungu ameweka ndani yetu. We don't control it. Hatukiongozi. It controls us. Kinatuongoza sisi. We don't lead it. Hatukiongozi sisi. It leads us. Kinatuongoza sisi. It's not for sale. Si chakuza. We cannot sell it. Hatuwezi kukiuza. We cannot exchange it. Hatuwezi kukibadilisha. Because kwa sababu it's the reality. Ni uhalisia of our inheritance. Wa urithi wetu. Now I want you to look at this. Nataka mtazame katika hili. My title is Kichwa cha somo langu ni faithful stewards wow. of their father's priceless heritage watumishi wa aminifu wa wa urithi wa baba yao wenye thamani kuu faithful stewards watumishi wa aminifu that's why paul is saying ndio maana paulo anasema let every man account of us kila mmo Hebu kila mmoja atuhesabu sisi as ministers of Christ kama wahudumu wa Kristo and stewards of the mysteries of God na wa na wa tumishi au wabebaji wa siri za Mungu that's why all those mysteries were kept for ages ndio maana siri zote ziliweka katika kwa nyakati nyingi even Daniel wanted to know hata Danieli alitaka kufahamu Mungu akasema hapana. You can't know this. Uwezi kujua hili. It will be revealed in the end time. Itafunuliwa wakati wa mwisho. It has got special people. Ina watu maalum. <laughs> A classified people. Ina watu wa we, wana who, who rasmi. Classified special put aside. Watu ambao wamewekwa we, kando, wametengwa. Because they will need this kwa sababu watahitaji hili in order to defeat the devil in the last day ili kuweza kumshinda ibilisi katika siku za mwisho because 200 million devils will be released that time kwa sababu mapepo milioni mia mbili yataachiliwa wakati ule to add on the already existing spirits kuongeza kwenye yale mapepo ambayo tayari yamekuwako and they will need this na watahitaji hii they will need to have what i taji kuwa that which no other age has had before what i taji kuwa na kile ambacho hakuna wakati wote watu waliwahi kuwa nacho receive the mysteries of the seven seals watapokea siri za muhuri wa saba and the devil doesn't know them na shetani hazijui hizo the seven thunders ngurumo saba the unveiling of god ukufunuliwa kwa mungu they will need the mystery of god himself in them what i taji siri ya mungu mwenyewe ndani yao so i want you to look at this na kwa hiyo nataka mtazame katika hili that's why we should pray for faithful ministers ndio maana lazima tuombe kwa wahudumu wa aminifu ministers Mahudumu who are faithful ambao ni waaminifu not just with one another si kwa mo, moja kwa mwingine not just comparing notes among one another sio kulinganisha notes kati ya moja kwa mwingine but faithful lakini waaminifu with what god gave them na kila mungu aliwapa faithful waaminifu to preach the truth kuhubiri kweli Whether everybody is against you brother Haijalishi kama kila mmoja yuko kinyume chako dudu You know this is the truth Ili mradi tu unajua hili kweli This is kweli. the message Huu ni ujumbe This is the life Haya ni huu ni uzima This is the revelation of the huu, hour Huu ni ufunuo wa saa We need such men Tunahitaji watu wa namna hiyo That will preach the truth regardless Ambao watahubiri kweli haidhuru And we need believers Na tunahitaji waamini hiyo Who are ready to believe the word of Ambao God Ambao wako tayari kuamini neno la Mungu Stand with it Na kusimama nalo We want men Tunahitaji watu the daughters of God Wa binti wa Mungu Who have heard from heaven Ambao wamesikia kutoka mbinguni They have heard their name in the book Wamesikia jina lao kwenye kitabu And I know Na wana This message Ujumbe huu is addressed to them. Umeelekezwa kwao. You. Wewe. 
So they are not looking to anybody else. The members of the bride. The prophet said. They have his mind. And they know. What he. Yet. Kile yeye wants them to do with the word. Anachotaka wafanye kwa kwa neno. What what are we supposed to do with the word? Sisi tunataka tufanye nini kwa neno? Why were we given this message? Kwa nini tulipewa ujumbe huu? Why did we receive this revelation? Kwa nini tulipokea ujumbe huu? Not for sale. Si kwa ajili ya kuuza. Not for change. Si kwa ajili ya kubadilishana. Not for bargaining with the devil. Si kwa ajili ya kuelewana na ibilisi. But to transform Like to be changed until we become the word. That's why we are here. Dio sababu tuko hapa. Okay. Okay. So I have a subject from that which I'm saying. Kwa ninalo soma kutoka pale ambalo ninasema that which I have received. Kile nimepokea is not for sale or exchange. Si kwa ajili ya kuuza au kubadilishana. Because I know uh, from whom I received it. Kwa sababu najua kutoka kwa nani nilipokea hiyo. I never received it from the wisdom of men. Si kupokea kutoka katika hekima za wanadamu. Not even from a Bible college. Si kutoka katika shule ya Biblia. Neither did I receive it because I was educated. Wala sikupokea kwa sababu nilikuwa na nimeelimika. I was not even taught it by man. Hata sikufundishwa na mtu. It came by revelation. Ilikuja kwa ufunuo. And I know. Nami najua there is no better vineyard. Hakuna shamba la mzabibu bora than the one that God gave me. Kuliko lile ambalo Mungu amenipa. Every good gift comes from above. Kila kipawa chama chatoka juu. So if what I have God gave me. Kwa kama kila nicho nacho Mungu amenipa, no devil will tell me that there is something better. Hakuna shetani ataniambia kipo kingine bora. There is no better vineyard. Hakuna shamba la mzabibu bora. There is no better message. Hakuna ujumbe bora. There is no better revelation. Hakuna ufunuo bora. There is no better you know spirit. Hakuna roho bora apart from the spirit that God gives. Kuliko yule roho ambaye Bwana anatoa. There is no better message. Hakuna ujumbe bora apart from the voice of God. Kuliko sauti ya Mungu. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. That I have received by faith. Kwamba nime hiyo nimepokea kwa imani. And I know. Nami najua. It's because of that. Ni kwa sababu ya huo. That the devil wants to pervert it. Kwamba shetani anataka kupotosha. Now how do you want? How do you tell me to exchange it? Sasa unaniambiaje mimi nibadilishane huo? Yet I gave it. I got it from the best mind there is in the world wakati nimepata kutoka katika akili bora iliyopo zaidi ya ulimwengu wote if that which i have i got it from god kama kile nicho nacho nikipata kwa mungu who else can replace what god has given nani yule ambaye anaweza akabadilisha kile ambacho mungu amepeana and you know what he was wanting to do na unajua kila chikuwa anataka kufanya when you give me your vineyard utakaponipa shamba lako la mzabibu I want to change it from being a vineyard nami nataka kulibadilisha litoke kuwa shamba la mzabibu into a garden of herbs liwe shamba la mboga mboga miti shamba la miti shamba hey. Aha. Satan taking away a vine that produces wine. Shetani anachukua mzabibu unaotoa divai. Ha? Huh? And replaces puts there herbs. Na anabadilisha na kuweka pale miti shamba. Eh? Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. And today you will see. Na leo unaona. He wants to kill faith from the church. Anataka. Yes. Anataka auwe imana itoe kwa kanisa. Is that Swahili? Yeah. Anataka kuwa imani kutoka kwa kanisa. Aha. So that you begin to live by science, scientific research. Ili kwamba uanze ku, kuishi kwa sayansi na utafiti wa kisayansi. Habo research. Utafiti wa mitishamba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did we read well? Je, tulisoma vizuri? Let's go back and read again. Hebu turudi na tusome tena. Mhm. Mhm. We are in the in first Kings chapter 21. Ah, uh, tuko katika wafalme wa kwanza sura 21. Verse 2. What does he say? Ah, uh, mstari wa pili anasema nini? And I have spoke unto Naboth. Na Ahabu akasema na Naboth. Chunguza be careful there now. Kuwa mwangalifu pale. Saying, give me thy vineyard. Akisema nipe shamba lako la mzabibu. That I may have it for a garden of herbs. Kwamba nilifanye bustani ya miti shamba. Au mboga. Hey. Miti shamba. Hey. Mm-hmm. A herbalist. Awe mganga wa miti shamba. Aha, because He was a husband of a witch called Jezebel. Kwa sababu alikuwa mume wa mchawi anaitwa Jezebel. So the woman was already mganga. Kwa sababu kwa hiyo mwanamke alikuwa mganga wa kienyeji tayari. So ni toe hii mzabibu yako. Alafu ni pande Aha. Kwa kazi ya uganga yangu. Iendelee vyema. Do you see why herbalism is becoming so popular today? Je, unaona ule uganga wa miti shamba unakuwa na umaarufu sana siku hizi? Habo research, habo research, habo this. Hapa kuna doctor, miti shamba, doctor this, miti shamba. doctor that for habo research. Daktari huyu, daktari huyu. And believers are going for that. Na waaminiwa wanafuata hiyo. Miti shamba. No more faith. Hakuna imani tena. Hey. Amen. Hey. Can you please accept? Je, unaweza ukapokea so tafadhali? I slowly take away the vine. Ili kwamba nichukue mzabibu pole pole. And I plant the herbs. Nani pande miti shamba and in place there my herb research center. Nani weke hapo kituo cha utafiti wa miti shamba? I can even make you my sales agent. Na mimi naweza nikakufanya kuwa mtu wa mauzo wa kwangu wa masoko. So that every disease in the church ili kwamba kila ugonjwa kanisani we have got some products brother. Tunazo tunazo bidhaa ndugu. I, I know of some product. Najua zipo bidhaa ndugu. I know the brother has got Ndugu anazo <laughs> The Habo Research Center is in my compound. <laughs> utafiti wa mi, wa, wa mitishamba, kituo cha utafiti wa mitishamba kipo nyumbani kwangu. Let me say this. Hebu niseme hili. That's why even in Uganda there. Ndio sababu kule Uganda pale We had things like Swiss guard, we had things like Tulikuwa hapo na Tianshi. Tunaomba kama Swiss guard na Tianshi. Do you know the people who were promoting it so much? 
Je, unajua watu waliokuwa waki The message believers. Wa, wakitangaza sana huo ilikuwa ni waaminio wa were ujumbe. getting contacts of believers in East Africa. Na walikuwa na wanatupeana yeah. namba za za waaminio katika Afrika Mashariki. And you brother so and so I am this so I am trying to recruit you for Tianshi. Oh mimi ni ndugu fulani fulani na fanya kazi fulani najaribu kukuleta wewe kwenye Tianshi. Well maybe you'll not invite me again to Tanzania. Oh labda hamtaniaalika tena Tanzania. You'll have reduced my work. Thank you. Mtakuwa mmekataa kazi yangu <laughs> nashukuru. <laughs> Satan coming very slowly in a very silent mode. Shetani akija pole pole katika namna ya ukimya. I am not comfortable with the vine. Mimi sijaridhika na mzabibu. And who is the vine? Na mzabibu ni nani? Yesu. Yeah. Yeah. I am the vine. Mimi ni mzabibu. And you are the branches. Nanyi ni matawi. Yeah. Yeah. And my father na baba yangu is the owner of the garden. Yeye ndiye mmiliki wa bustani. I am the vine. John 15 verse 1. Yo, Yohana 15 mstari wa 1. I am the vine. Mzabibu. Jesus is saying. Yes, I am the vine. Mimi ni mzabibu. I am the one. Mimi ndiye. That the devil doesn't want in your garden. Ama shetani hataki kwenye bustani yako. I am that vine. Mimi ndiye huyo. The devil is not happy that I am still in your garden. Shetani hana furaha kwamba bado niko katika bustani yako. And this vine belongs to my father. Now, who na, na who mzabibu ni wa baba yangu. And you are the branches. Na wewe ni na nyinyi matawi. You are the ones. Nyinyi ndio who are supposed to put on fruits. Mliopaswa mtoe matunda. Sha. Sha. Mhm. Mhm. So the devil is trying to strike a deal with the believer. Kwa shetani anajaribu kutengeneza mpango na mwaminio. Let us take away Jesus. Hebu tumuondoe Yesu. Let us take away faith in the word. Hebu tutoe imani kwenye neno. Ha? Take away the vine. Hebu tuondoe mzabibu. And let us have a deal. Hebu tuwe na mpango hapa. That instead of the vine I plant herbs. Kwamba badala ya 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 mzabibu tuweke miti shamba. And turn you into a research a researcher in herbalism. Na tugeuze na tugeuze hili liwe kituo cha utafiti cha miti shamba. So you will know this tree can treat sijui eh, arubaine this one treats this one this one ndipo ujue kwamba huu mti unaweza katibu hii this, this one treats this this one Hey, hey, hey. Unatibu marubaini unatibu hiki. You know all those trees. Nani mnajua miti yote hiyo? You don't know the verses, you don't know the quotes, but you know the trees. Hamjui mistari, hamjui nukuu, hamjui. Hamjui hivyo. Makes you mnajua miti. Makes you forget all the verses about healing. Inakufanya usahau mistari yote kuhusu uponyaji. But you know all the herbs. Lakini unajua miti shamba yote. Mhm. Mhm. So God give us faithful men. Kwa Mungu tupe wa watumishi wa aminifu. Faithful preachers. Watumishi wa waubiri wa aminifu. Who will preach the word of God and lay it there. Na ambao watahubiri neno la Mungu na kuliweka pale. And then we see our God come down to prove his word. Ndipo tumuone Bwana wetu akija chini na kuthibitisha neno lake. Ndio Bwana. He still you are healer. Ndio bado ni mponyaji wako. Yes. 
Ndiyo. He can still open the eyes of the blind. Bado anaweza kafungua yes. macho ya kipofu. He can make the lame walk. Ndiyo, bado anaweza kufanya kiwete yes. pembe. He can cast out devils. Anaweza kufukuza yes. mato. Ndiyo. He can change his church. Ndiyo, anaweza kubadilisha yes. kanisa lake. Ndiyo. He's the same yesterday today and forever. Ndiyo, yeye ni yeye yule jana na hata milala. Ndiyo. He has not changed. Hapana hata badilika. He has not lost power. Hata potesa nguvu. He's still powerful. Bado ana nguvu zote. With the power of resurrection. Na nguvu ya ufufuo. And the devil knows it. Na shetani anajua hilo. The devil knows. Shetani anajua. That as long as you retain in that vineyard. Ili kwa kadri unavyo dumisha unangangania ulo shamba la mzabibu. As long as that vineyard is not destroyed. Ili mradi tu hilo shamba la mzabibu halijaribiwa. You may be sick. Unaweza ukaumwa. You may be weak. Unaweza kuwa mdhaifu. The vine yard is growing. Lakini shamba la mzabibu linakua. The is growing. Shamba la mzabibu linakua. You may have problems. Unaweza kuwa na shida. But the vine is growing. Lakini mzabibu unakua. My the father is weeding it. Kwa sababu Baba analipalilia. The father is looking after it. Baba analitazama na lichunga. And one of these days. Na moja siku hizi. Haleluya. Haleluya. One of these days. Moja siku hizi. The fruit will come. Tunda linakuja. The fruit will come. Tunda linakuja. And you are going to eat it. Na wewe utalila. And you are going to testify. Na wewe utatoa ushuhuda. You are going to testify. Utatoa ushuhuda. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. God give us another Naboth. Mungu atupe Naboth mwingine. I want to be another Naboth. Nataka kuwa Naboth mwingine. I'm not going to exchange it. Siwezi kuibadilisha hii. I'm not going to sell it. Sitayuza hii. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. It first of first of all. Mkwanza kwanza kwa kuanzia. It's not mine. Si la kwangu. It's not for my glory. Si kwa ajili ya utukufu wangu. It's for his glory. Ni kwa ajili ya utukufu wake. It doesn't belong to me. Si la kwangu. I belong to it. Mimi ndio la kwake. I belong to it. Mimi ni wa kwake. I can't sell what I don't own. Siwezi kuuza ambacho similiki. No servant. Hakuna mtumishi is above his master's word. Ambaye ni zaidi ya neno la la bwana wake. The vineyard lile shamba la mzabibu is Jesus. Ni Yesu Kristo. And Jesus. Na Yesu is my Lord. Na ni bwana wangu. How can I sell my master? Ninawezaje kumuuza bwana wangu? How can I sell my savior? Nawezaje kumuuza mwokozi wangu? How I can how can I compromise on the word? Nawezaje kupatana juu ya neno? Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. That's why this message ndio sababu ujumbe huu was sent. Ulitumwa and the hearts of the children kugeuza mioyo ya watoto back irudi tena to that of their fathers kurudi kwa ile ya baba zao and that's why brother branham was very happy ndio maana ndugu branham alikuwa na furaha sana and he was very proud na alikuwa ame anajivuna sana when he said aliposema i've preached exactly what paul preached kwamba nimehubiri hasa vile Paulo amehubiri If Paul's people enter kama watu wa Paulo wakiingia mine will also enter wangu pia wataingia Ye yeah. ndio And I want to say na mimi nataka kusema if the message is the way to enter kama ujumbe ni njia ya kuingia then I want to stand and be found preaching the message nataka nisimame nikihubiri ujumbe perfect faith kwa imani kamilifu that's what the devil doesn't want hicho ndicho shetani ataki aha aha anataka tu kuwe na imani kinusunusu 
A little faith, a little unbelief. Imani ndogo kutokuamini kidogo. Naamini lakini. Okay. Let's go here what the prophet says. Hebu twende hapa mahali nabii anasema. Now this message of Malachi 4 Revelation 10:7 is going to do two things. Sasa ujumbe huu wa Malaki 4 na ufunuo 10 utakwenda kufanya mambo mawili. One kwa moja according to Malachi 4. Kulingana na Malaki 4. He will turn the hearts of the children to their fathers. Utageuza mioyo ya watoto kwa baba zao. Two Mbili, he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders in Revelation 10. Atafunua siri za ngurumo saba zilizo katika uf, uh, ufunuo kumi. Which are the revelations contained in the seven seals. Ambayo ni mafunuo ya liyo ndani ya zile mihuli saba. And it will be this divinely revealed mystery truth. Na zitakuwa hizi kweli zilizo za kiungu zi, za kisiri zilizo funuliwa. That will literally turn the hearts of the children to their Pentecost of fathers. Ambazo hasa ndizo zitakazogeuka za mioyo ya watoto kwa baba zao wa wa kipentecoste. Now look at that. Sasa tazama hilo. Look at the Pentecost of fathers. Sasa tazama baba zetu wa kipentecoste. And Paul was saying, na Paulo alikuwa even if it is me, hata kama ni mimi, or an angel how malaika came from heaven akitoka kutoka mbinguni and he wanted to change this na akajaribu kwa kugeuza hii let him be cast hebu alaaniwe that was the stand of our pentecost of fathers huo ulikuwa msimamo wa baba zetu wa mitume they were not ready for compromise walikuwa hawako tayari kupatana they were burnt alive they were stoned walikuwa walikuwa walipigwa na kulushiwa mawe they were sown asunder. Wali katwa na msumbeno vipande. They were burnt in fire. Wali guzwa kwenye moto. But they never compromised. Lakini hawa kupatana. That was their stand. Huo likuwa msimamo wao. And the prophet says, Na nabia kasema, This divinely revealed mystery truth. Hizi kweli zilizo funuliwa kisiri za kiungu. Like the mystery that was in Naboth. Kama siri ilio kuwa ndani ya Naboth. They will literally turn the hearts of the children. Nizo hasazita geuza miyo ya watoto. To their Pentecost of Father. Kwa baba zao wakimitume. So Naboth. Kwa yo Naboth. Is a type of a believer today. Ni mfano wa muaminio leo. A young child in faith. Mtoto mdogo kwenye imani. But treasuring the faith of the fathers. Lakini akionia thamani imani ya baba zao. I cannot. Si wezi. I don't care whether you are right, reverend, honorable, ahabu, king, blah, blah. Si jari kama wewe ni, ni mweshi miwa, mwe, mtu mishi, mtu kufu, uh, falume ahabu, blah, blah. The almighty king, ahabu, blah, blah. Bla, ahabu, mwenye, mwenye nguvu, mwenye enzi kubwa, blah, blah. But, lakini, I am not going to give you Lakini siwezi kwenda kukupa my father's inheritance. Urithi wa baba yangu. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. I am established on the Pentecostal faith foundation. Mimi nimewekwa msingi juu ya, u, ya, ya imani ya kimi, ya baba zetu wa Kipentecost. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, I am the sure continuation. Mimi ni mwendelezo wa hakika. And I'm not going to be the reason to stop the continuation. Mimi siwezi kuwa sababu ya kuzuia mwendelezo. No. Hapana. Paul never stopped it. Paulo haku ukomesha uo. Irene has never stopped it. Irene wa kukomesha uo. Yeah. Hapana. Brother Brani ham never stopped it. Dugu Brani ham haku ukomesha uo. And I'm not going to stop it. Na mimi sita ukomesha. Lord of God. Utukufu kwa mungu. I'm not going to sell it. Sita na kuuza. I'm not going to change it. Sita na kubadilisha. If the church. Ni kama kanisa. They want to kubadilisha imani yao. I am not going to stand with the church. I am going to stand with Jesus. If the church don't want to hear the original message, 
A true preacher will stand preaching the original message. Muhubiri wa kweli atasimama kihubiri ujumbe halisi. Glory to God. Now look at this. Sasa tazama hili. The prophet says. Nabii anasema. But consider this also. Sasa hebu zingatia hili pia. This prophet messenger will be in his nature. Huyu nabii mjumbe atakuwa katika asili yake and manners na tabia zake as we Elijah and John the Baptist. Kama alivyokuwa Elia na Yohana mbatizaji. Manners tabia zake and nature na asili yake. Mm -hmm. And the people of this end the people of this prophet messengers day na watu wa siku za nabii mjumbe will be as they were in ahabu's day watakuwa kama watu wa siku za ahabu and in john's day na katika siku za yohana now listen sasa unaona and since it is only the children na sasa, kwa sababu ni watoto pekee whose hearts will be turned ambao mioyo yao itageuzwa only the children Watoto peke yao Children of who? Watoto wa nani? Children of the father. Watoto wa baba. Attributes of their father. What Watoto wa baba zao. The attributes those who were in his mind. Sifa za baba za baba wale waliokuwa katika nia yake. Since it is only the children kwa sababu ni watoto pekee will be changed yao itageuzwa it is only the children ni watoto pekee who will listen ambao watasikiliza listen from above ambao watasikiliza kutoka juu not from here sio kutoka hapa in the days of Ahab katika siku za ahabu there were only 7000 true seed israelites who were found walikuwa watu 1700 tu waliopatikana in the days of john katika siku za yohana there were very few walikuwa wachache sana the masses u, the masses the majority ma, makuta, yale makutano watu wengi in both ages katika nyakati zote mbili were all swallowed up in idolatry wali walimezwa katika uabudu sanamu mm -hmm. so it is only going to take children kwa hiyo itahitaji watoto pekee yao to treasure kuthamini to hold with esteem kushikilia kwa nguvu eh hey, with esteem what their fathers given them kushikilia kwa umakini kile ambacho baba wamepewa baba zao let me ask you a question hebu niwaulizeni swali what else could god give us today apart from this message je kitu gani ambacho mungu angetupatia nje ya ujumbe huu we are not looking for the truth hatutafuti ukweli we have got the truth tunao ukweli we are not punching in the air Hatupigi upepo. We have hit the target. Tunapiga tunapiga lango. We are not on could be perhaps. Hatuko inawezekana labda au ita... we are on that says the Lord. Tuko katika Bwana asema hivi. I'm very comfortable. Mimi nimeridhika sana. I know sana. where I'm standing. Najua pale nasimama. On the word of God, the voice of God. Kwenye neno la Mungu sauti ya Mungu. That makes the devil so uncomfortable. Na hiyo linamfanya shetani asiridhike kabisa. Whenever he looks at you. Anapotazama ninyi. With the knowledge you have. Na u, na ujuzi mlionao. With the revelation you have. Na ufunuo mlionao. And you are a neighbor in his kingdom. Na wewe ni mjirani kwenye ufalme wake. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Okay. Oh. Satan coming. Shetani akija. And wanting to take away the fine. Akitaka kuchukua shamba la mzabibu. Now what is this? Sasa hii ni nini? 
The prophet says, do, in the series, he's talking about do not hurt the oil and the wine. Kat, nabia nasema katika mihuri usidhuru mafuta wara divine. Which is Revelation chapter 6 verse 6 I think. Ambao ni ufunuo sura ya 6 mstari wa 6. And he comes here he says. Na anakuja hapa anasema. What does see thou hath not the oil and the wine mean in Revelation 6? Sasa hii usidhuru mafuta wara divine inamaanisha nini katika ufunuo 6? The oil is the Holy Spirit. Mafuta ni Roho Mtakatifu. See? Unaona? We just go through that. Tume pitia hilo tu. Probably someday you know come in a little late for the message. Unajua labda so siku fulani tukija mbele zaidi katika ujumbe. Says, Hurt not the oil and the wine. Usidhuru mafuta wala divine. The devil wants that oil and wine hurt. Shetani anataka mafuta na divine vidhurike. Ah. What does the oil and the wine mean? Je, mafuta na divine inamaanisha nini? The oil as we took it in the symbol means the Holy Spirit. Mafuta kama tulichukua katika mfano inamakilisha Roho Mtakatifu. See? Unaona? The oil is connected and the wine together in the Bible. She, uh, mafuta na divine vinaenda pamoja katika Biblia. In a worship. Katika ibada. Unaona? And the wine na, mafuta, as we put na, na divine kama tulichukua. That's where I got the idea. Hapo ndipo nilipopata wazi. The wine is stimulation of revelation. Uh, ma divai ni uchangamko au msisimko wa ufunuo. Aha. Uh -huh. The wine stimulates. Ma uh, divai inachangamsha, inasisimua. And you cannot have the oil without the wine. They are always together. Na huwezi kuwa na mafuta bila divai. Mara zote viko pamoja. That's why the prophet preaches the message the toxin of Pentecost. Ndio maana nabii anahubiri ujumbe ah ile dawa ya Pentecost. Toxin. I don't know how you call it. It's, it's like Sup. uh -huh. Sup. Sio sumu. Dawa. It's like uh, in text something making you drunk. Kilevi uh -huh. cha Pentecost. Aha. Uh -huh. Not only are you filled with the Holy Spirit Si kwamba tu umejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu but you are drunk lakini umelewa On the day of Pentecost they were drunk Katika siku ya Pentecost walikuwa wamelewa And the Bible says everybody say these people are drunk of the new wine Na Biblia inasema hawa watu wamelewa kwa mvinyo mpya au divine mpya New wine from a new vine Eh hey, ni divine mpya kutoka katika mzabibu mpya you see these days we have a very careful official uh, Unajua uh, katika siku hizi diplomatic tuna, church to now mfumo wa kanisa wa uangalifu wa, eh? wa kanisa la kidiplomasia let, let, let me sing carefully lest i fall down Hebu ni imbe kwa uangalifu nisije nikaanguka chini and then maybe begins to dance and then, hey, let me e open my eyes. I was e almost collapsing. You are fighting the wine. Huh? When the Holy Ghost comes, when the oil comes, it comes together with some wine. Inakuja pamoja na and divine. You get so stimulated. Nawe una unachangamka sana. And taken in the spirit. Na unachukuliwa katika roho. Until you don't care what is around you. Na hujali kila ambacho kimekuzunguka. You are so drunk. Umelewa sana. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa and Mungu. Until you don't care what the devil will say. Na hata hujali kile shetani atasema. You don't care what the devil will do. Hujali kile shetani atafanya. You are drunk. Kwa sababu umelewa. You are not normal. Wewe si wa kawaida. You are abnormal normal. <laughs> Wewe ni ni wa, wa si wa kawaida kawaida. And you worship your God. Now na mabudu mungu wako. With all the liberty. Na uhuru wate. You can dance and fall. You can dance and sit. You kadodo. praise your God. Na ukaimba, ukamsifu mungu. And you can tell your neighbor. Na unazu kamambia jirani yako. Don't touch my bottle. Usiguse chupa yangu. Ah. Don't touch my bottle. Usiguse chupa yangu. 
I enjoy it when I'm drunk. I enjoy it when it's not me working. When it's the Holy Spirit working. When I'm drunk with the wine of stimulation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why today, Dio sababu leo. When someone say amen, Dio wakati mtufanya sema amen. It looks like it's a new thing. Inaonekana kama jambo jipya. The devil doesn't want the vineyard. Satan attack attacki shamba la mzabibu. He only wants that you to you stick a sip in church. Anataka wewe ulale kidogo kanisani. But not in your house. Lakini si nyumbani kwako. But God wants the bottle in your house. Lakini Mungu anataka chupa garden. Chupa kule nyumbani. Yeah. In the morning you take a little and say praise the Lord. Asubuhi unachukua kidogo unakunywa unasema asifiwe Mungu. Satan whom do you think you are? Satan una wasa ni nani? I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I'm a champion. And you walk when you are very bold. Na unatembea ukiwa na kifua mbele. Fearless. Uh, ukiwa uogopi because the vine is there. Kwa sababu mzabibu uko pale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Listen he. He says, now just to think. Sasa wazia. That's the wine. Who ni divine is from is a stimulation ni changamko by revelation kwa ufunuo now just think sasa wazia what stimulates the church kitu gani kinachangamsha kanisa revelation ufunuo si unaona so wine kwa hiyo ufunuo the new wine kwa hiyo ile divine mpya so the oil and the wine went together. In the sacrifice. They went together. In the church worship. Katika uh ibada ya kanisa. Aha. Amen. He wants you to sit there gurume. Unataka unataka ukae pale unasikitika. Si ndio sasa utakuwa utamfurahisha setani. Una mfurahisha? Because you are there. Kwa sababu uko pale ume. They are preaching. Wanahubiri wewe unafanya. You are thinking about how you don't have a job. Unawazia jinsi gani huna kazi. I've been married for two years. I'm not pregnant. Nimeolewa kwa miaka miwili sina ujauzito. You are thinking about rent. You are thinking about this job. Unawaza kuhusiana na kodi, kazi. I'm not married. Mimi sijaoa, sijaoa, sijaolewa. You have no things that are coming. Unayo mambo hayo mambo yanakuja. Trying to use your mind. Yanajaribu kutumia akili yako. You are now in a comfortable zone for the devil. Wewe uko katika hali ya toshelevu kwa ibilisi. But God wants you to go beyond that. Lakini Mungu anataka upande zaidi ya hiyo. When the vineyard wakati shamba la mzabibu is not changed. Halija badilisho. It is not exchanged. Halija badilisho. And it is not sold. Halija uzwa. And Naboth is saying. Na Naboth ya kasema. I am not going to give you. Sita kwenda kukupa kamwe. I am not going to sell to you. Sita kwenda kukuuzia hii. I don't care who you are. Sijari wewe ni nani. That is my father's vineyard. Hii ni kwa. Shamba la baba yangu la That is my father's heritage. Huu ni urithi wa baba zangu. Handed to me. Ulipeana kwangu. God trusted me. Mungu aliniamini mimi. With his word. Na neno lake. God trusted me. Mungu aliniamini mimi. With his revelation. Na ufunuo wake. He knew. Alijua. I would stand with it. Nitasimama nao. And Satan you are a liar. Na shetani wewe ni mwongo. I am not going to give up. Sita kwenda kukata tamaa. I'm not going to cede my ground. Sita kwenda kuuza shamba langu. I'm going to stand on my ground. Sita kwenda kusimama katika ardhi hii. If my faith is giving the devil trouble, kama imani yangu inampatia shetani shida, I'll keep troubling him. Nitaendelea kumtabisha. Let me keep troubling him the more. Hebu niendelee kumtabisha. 
That's why I'm here. I'm not here for the comfort of the devil. I'm here for the joy of heaven. I am here to make my God happy. Not to make the devil happy. But to make my father happy. And when my father is happy, the joy of the Lord is my strength. When my God is happy, I will be strong. Amen. 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 My, my work is to make him happy. And when God sees that you are standing firm with the word, regardless, you are holding on the on inheritance. You are not selling it. He's going to be happy. Let me finish by this. Glory to God. Oil and wine in the Bible is associated together always. Mafuta na divai kwenye Biblia vina endana pamoja mara zote. So the prophet says when the truth of a promised word of God has been truly revealed to his saints. Nabii anasema wakati ahadi ya kweli ya Mungu imefunuliwa kikweli kweli. Revealed to his saints. Imefunuliwa kwa watakatifu wake. That is filled with the oil. Hiyo imejazwa na mafuta. They all get stimulated. Wote wanapata changamko. All get Wo- stimulated. Wote wanapata changamko. Wine is a stimulation. Divai ni changamko. Glory. Utukufu. And the prophet says I feel it right now. And Nabii anasema naihisi hiyo sasa. Stimulated with joy. Ina changamsha na furaha. And shouts. Na kelele. See? Unaona? When it does it, una, ivo, it has got the same effect upon them. Ina, ma, ina matukio yale yale juu yao. The same effect that the physical uh, wine it does on the natural man. Ina matokeo yale yale ile divai ya kawaida inavyomfanyia mtu wa kawaida. Because when the revelation has been given, wa kwa sababu wakati ufunuo unapopeanwa unapotolewa wa ukweli wa Mungu and the true believer filled with the oil. Na muamini wa kweli akajazwa na mafuta and the revelation is revealed. Na ufunuo umefunuliwa the stimulation becomes so great. Na ule U, na, na ule changamko unakuwa mkuu sana that he makes him behave himself anomaly inamfanya yeye ajiendeshe isivyo kawaida see unaona he says that's what is the matter with them now unaona hicho ndio shida ilionayo walionayo sasa that is what is making them behave unseemingly ndio maana inawafanya waoneka wa, 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 watende isivyo kawaida Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you see why Satan hates the vineyard. Kwa hiyo unaona sasa kwa nini ibilisi anachukia shamba la mzabibu? He hates it. Anachukia hiyo that you really treasure. Kwa lakini wewe unathamini sana what God has given you. Kile Mungu amekupatia. And that's why he's ready. Ndio maana uko tayari. Even if it is possible to kill you for it. Ndio maana yuko tayari kama inawezekana akuue kwa sababu ya hiyo. But let me finish my last statement. Lakini hebu nimalize tamshi langu la mwisho. Do you know that it took Naboth to die in order to keep the vineyard? Unajua kama ilimgarimu Naboth kufa ili atunze hilo shamba? You are not going to keep this vineyard unless you die. Hutakwenda kulitunza hili shamba isipokuwa lazima ufe. You have to die to your interests. Lazima ufe kwa maamani yako. Thinking. Ufe kwa kuzo yako. Your plans. Ufe kwa mipango yako. Shauku zako. When na both died for it. Wakati na both yamekufa. And he was ready to die for it. Na alikuwa tayari kufa kwa ajili hiyo. Elijah, I mean, Ahab thought I'm now going to get it. 
Ahabu aliwaza kwamba nakwenda kulipata hilo. And the wife told him, "Go now and possess it." Na mke wake akamwambia, "Nenda sasa ukalimiliki." And then that's when God sent a prophet. Hapo ndipo wakati Mungu alituma nabii. And the prophet goes. Na na nabii anakwenda. And he meets Ahab there. Na anakutana na Ahabu pale. The prophet nabii the enforcer yule of God is law yule about the inheritance he comes anakuja and Ahab is here Ahabu yuko hapa and Ahab looks at him na Ahabu anamtazama oh have you found me my enemy oh umenipata wewe adui yangu Yes, I found you. Anasema ndio nimekupata wewe. I want to ask you a question. Nataka kukuuliza wewe swali. Did you kill in order to possess? Je, uliua ili umiliki? Amen. So you think you killed in order to come and possess? Kwa hiyo umewaza kwamba uliua ili uje umiliki? You killed so that it becomes impossible for you to possess. Uliua ili kwamba isiwezekane kwako wewe kumiliki he was willing to die for it alikuwa tayari kufa kwa ajili yake and because he died for it na kwa sababu alikufa kwa ajili yake devil will not possess this shetani hatamiliki it will remain his itabaki ya kwake it will remain for his family itabaki kwa familia yake and and, and then the prophet told told the ahab na nabii akamwambia ahab let me tell you acha nikwambie wewe in the place where the dogs licked the blood of Naboth mahali pale pale mbwa alipolamba damu ya Naboth they will also lick your own blood watalamba damu yako pia and the dogs na mbwa will will eat Jezebel's body watakula mwili wa Jezebel until no one will say this is Jezebel paka hakuna mtu atakayesema huyu ni Jezebel so Jezebel kwao Jezebel na Ahabu they all died walikufa their children died watoto wao wakafa but no one took Naboth's garden lakini hakuna aliyechukua haleluya Naboth why kwa nini because he was ready to die for it kwa sababu alikuwa tayari kufa kwa ajili yake and today na leo the only standard against the death angel mimi nimesimama kidhiti kinyume cha na, cha malaika wa kifo you know when the fourth seal was open unajua pale mwili wa nne ulipofunguliwa there was mr death that came out of hell u alikuwa hapo bwana kifo amekuja kutoka kuzimu mhm the bell horse rider yule farasi wa kijivu jivu he came from hell alikuja kutoka and kuzimu. he was called death na alikuwa anaitwa kifo and if hell followed him na kuzimu ilikuwa ikimfuata So what is the standard? Kwa hiyo kiwango ni nini? Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. The standard against death is death. Kiwango dhidi ya kifo ni kifo. When you die, unapokufa and Jesus begins living in you. Na Yesu aanze kuishi ndani yako. Whom will the devil talk to? Shetani ana nena ana ataongea na nani? Whom will the devil seduce? Shetani atamshawishi nani? Whom will the devil tempt? Shetani atamjaribu nani? You are not there. Wewe hauko pale. You are dead. Umekufa. Jesus is the one living. Yes, you are alive. Is now the one living. Yeye yeah, ndiye anaishi sasa. And the devil will get confused. Na shetani anapata anachanganyikiwa. defeated. Amekwisha kushindwa tayari. Because kwa sababu you are not there. Kwa sababu wewe hauko pale. When he looks at you in the face. Na When he looks at you in the face. Anapokutazama wewe usoni. It's no longer you. Si wewe tena. It's the face of Jesus. Si Yesu wa Yesu Kristo. It's Jesus who is living. Ni Yesu anaishi. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The standard against against the cell of the vineyard is Ki, when you die. Kiwango dhidi ya kuuza kwa shamba la mzabibu ni pale unapokufa. That's the standard. Hicho ndicho kiwango. And when Naboth died, lakini wakati Naboth amekufa, no one took the vineyard. Hakuna mtu aliyechukua lile shamba la mzabibu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. So when you die, kwa unapokufa, when this word makes you dead, wakati neno lako neno lake linapokufanya ufe, and when you are willing to die, na unapokuwa tayari kufa, your feelings, 
na kwa, kwa hisia zako your plans kwa mipango your yako desires zako. your lusts kama zako uh -huh. When oh. they all die on the altar here. I say, Lord, I die. I accept to die. But not to sell on the vineyard. I am ready to die. To lose everything. But let the vineyard remain. How many wants to die today? Let's stand up. Hebu tusimame. And just lift up your hands to the Lord. Wewe nyosha mikono yako tu kwa Bwana. And if you want to be remembered in this prayer. Na kama unataka kukumbukwa katika maombi haya. Whatever problem you have. Shida yoyote uliyonayo. Whatever temptation. Majaribu yoyote uliyonayo. Whatever demon, whatever disease. Ah, uh, pepo yoyote, gonjwa lolote. Just believe in your heart. Amini tu moyoni mwako. And lift up your hand as we pray. Na uinua mkono wako tunapoomba. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. I want to thank you for this time. Nataka kukushukuru kwa ajili ya wakati huu. You know how weak and tired this body is. Unajua jinsi gani mwili huu ni dhaifu na umechoka. But Lord you came down on this day. Lakini Mungu umekuja chini siku ya leo. And you anointed your servant. Na umemtia upako mtumishi wako to share this brief message with your children. Kushiriki ujumbe huu mfupi na watoto wako. We can see the devil's tricks, Lord. Tunaweza kuona mipango na mbinu za ibilisi. How he wants us to sell the bath, the birthright, the heritage. Jinsi anavyotaka tuuze haki yetu mzaliwa wa kwanza urithi wetu. How he wants us to overlook the An father's treasure. Anavyo anavyotaka tupuuzie lile shamba thamani ya baba zetu Lord lakini bwana we rather die today ni bora tufe leo like na both had to die kama na both alivyopaswa kufa let us die to all our feelings and thinking hebu tufe kwa hisia zetu zote na mawazo yetu all our desires shauku zetu zote all aspirations matamanio yetu yote Lord oh bwana Come and help every child of yours. That Lord, the vine will keep growing. And the devil will be defeated with all the wicked plans he has got. Lord, may you follow this word in the lives of your children. Mi, ya, mi, ya, ya watu and may you quicken it Lord na, na that everybody Kwa makira moja will be a Naboth today atakuwa Naboth tena. standing with the inheritance na wake. and resisting any demon na ki, kila oh God oh bless every preacher here Bariki kila mu, Every pastor here. Kila mchungaji hapa. Every believer here. Kila muaminio hapa. Oh God. Oh boy. Help us Lord. Tusaidie bwana. For we are living in such a time. Kwa sababu tunaishi katika majira haya. But we are here. Lakini tuko hapa. As manifested sons and daughters of God. Kama wana na binti za Mungu waliodhihirishwa. Who are supposed to bring glory back to God. Ambao wanapaswa kurejesha utukufu kwako bwana. And I shame the devil. Na kumwaibisha ibilisi. May you follow on with us Lord. No Bwana uje pamoja nasi tena. And quicken your word in our lives. Na ulihuishe neno lako maishani mwetu. That every trap and snare of the enemy will be defeated. Na kila mtego wa ibilisi utashindwa. And you will bless your children in a special way. Na utabariki watoto wako katika mali hapa Bwana. I thank you Lord. Na kushukuru Bwana. I commit them into your hands. Na na that na even those who are sick. Kwamba wale wote wanaumwa. Afflicted. Na wale Tormented. Na wale Lord, we know we are, you are here. Oh, Bwana, tunajua uko You are the vine of our healing. Wewe ndio mzabibu wa uponyaji wetu. You are the vine of our deliverance. Wewe ndio mzabibu wa ukombozi wetu. May you manifest your power in the lives of your children. Hebu udhihirishe nguvu zako katika maisha ya watoto wako. Touch them and heal them and deliver. Waguse na waponye Bwana. Let the devil be defeated, Lord. We thank you. 
Bless even those who prepared for these meetings and arranged the Lord. And even those who are still traveling to come. Continue to bless us together. We dedicate ourselves into your hands, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.